We are in the pier today, Pam and Marie. We're back in uh, Cat McLean's kitchen, and Hello. we're going to make mice cookies. They must be really tiny for those little tiny paws, you know. <laughs> so we're going to see how that works. And <laughs> Cat McLean uh, is of many McLeans that are in, in Sydney. Do you have any history on the recipe and where it came from? How long has it been? So, uh, this mice cookie recipe was one that I inherited from my mother, and uh, when I spoke to my mother last night, she wasn't exactly sure which relative gave it to her, but she knows we've been making it for a long time, yeah. and that it is one of the more popular ones. Uh, it's a good way to get dates into your kits if you want them to eat dates, exactly. uh, because, yeah, they're... they're Obviously, they're going to have sugar in them, but yeah. they do have a couple of those natural elements to them. And mm. when you bake fresh baked cookies, uh, they are a little bit healthier in the sense where they don't have the preservatives that yes. the store-bought stuff would have. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. my mom is from Sydney, uh, Sydney Mines. That's where she was born and mostly raised, but they did move to Sydney. Uh, when her father passed away when she was uh, an adolescent mm -hmm. and then my father is from Glace Bay so he was born there raised mm -hmm. there for half his life and then spent the rest of his life in Antigonish. Yes, yeah. yes. so true to pay for and family that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately I wasn't born here but I came back here because this is where my roots are. So. This is home. This yeah. is home. Pay this is home. Yes. This is where we settled and this is where we're, we're probably going to stay for a little while so Cape Breton is beautiful. Yes, <laughs> and my child loves it. <laughs> okay, so what do we good. need to do first then? So uh, normally one of the first things you want to do is of course get all your stuff ready. And this is a good recipe to have kids help with. So when it comes to the stove top stuff, uh, it would be a good idea for you to be in charge of that, whoever the person in charge is, uh, because there's going to be some constant stirring. We don't want this to burn, and we're only going to be using the stove top, so you don't have to worry about preheating the oven for this one at all. No. Uh, Perfect. So we're going to melt a few things on there. That's uh, great. You don't need parchment pa paper or wax paper, but it does come in it makes handy. Makes it easier. Yeah, and it makes it easier for the kids to leave a mess in one general area that's easy to fold up and throw in the garbage. Good out. point. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. So uh, if you don't have that, whatever you can that's slightly non-stick, you want to place them on top of that or directly into the containers that you're going to freeze them in. Mm -hmm. uh, that was another thing I was told to pass along is that you can freeze these. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to put a bunch of layers in there, just again, put some wax paper or parchment paper in between them. Then you don't have a big yes. labyrinth when you go to take them out later, a big ball of mice. And, and they're small, so you can pull them out in the morning and put them in their lunch. Yeah, so yeah. Easily enough. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, in trouble with that parchment paper? Yes, I knew I should open this before we started. <laughs> and this is why we do live. <laughs> Hi there, Patsy. I'm here to help. <laughs> yes, it's, it's really not a bad idea to have a helper, but I, I did make these at Christmas mostly by myself this time because we had the kids making Rice Krispie squares and oh, all that yeah, other stuff. That so, stuff. yeah. yeah. Um, I still do have to pull out the recipe on the phone or out of the book every once in a while to double check it, but some of them you just you start to memorize it because. Okay, we have a pan to put this on? Or? Uh, we're just going to roll that, um, maybe roll that in the corner. Yeah, and then we can get a nice good shot of it when we go to put the cookies on it later. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, perfect. All right. I'm going to put the measuring cup on top of there. Yes. Just to keep it rolling up like that. Awesome. Okay. Great. So I might just put the rice cookies back here for okay. now. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is chop up the dates. So you have to do a little bit of prep before you heat up the stove. So you buy the big pack. I did buy a big pack. We only need about a half a pack of dates for um, for each recipe, so you don't need you don't need a full pack every time you make them. Yeah. Um, if you are going to store the dates for later, though, not a bad idea to double seal them because mm -hmm. the plastic's super thin, so they'll be dried out by next year. Yeah. Unless you eat dates on a regular basis, probably not going to probably not going to use them. All right. Would you like me to chop them up then? That'd be fantastic. Okay. So I'm just going to. Grab one of the sharper knives. So the longer the knife, the better. Um, if you can get a sharp one, great. We just want to be careful we don't cut ourselves because dates are kind of. That's to... a massive knife, cat. <laughs> are you chasing mice with that knife? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> 
<laughs> you went out of view and then you came back with this humongous <laughs> neck. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll face it away the other way. That's right. Right. So, uh, so when, like I said, when you're cutting these up, you just got to be careful. Maybe don't give that job to the kids either. Right. Yes. So, Not with uh, that knife. <laughs> I love it because I don't have one that big, right? I've just, I need one. Crumble chunks or yeah, as yeah. small as you can? Um, they don't have to be microscopic, but we do want them to be small enough that uh, we're going to melt them in a pot with some sugar and some other ingredients and some butter. Okay. And margarine, if you, yeah. margarine if you're worried about uh, the cholesterol factor. Um, so, yeah, about, uh, about half this big. So, about yeah, half big. Okay. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> So I'm going to start um, beating an egg because we are going to need, for one batch, we are going to need to beat one egg and I'm also going to get a half a cup of brown sugar ready. All right, half a cup of brown sugar and one egg. Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca wants you to know, Kat, that she loves your apron. Oh, I thank you. Yeah, I do too. It's actually Dean McLean's, so my nice. lovely wife. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. All right. Yeah, okay. tiny. So now do you beat the egg and then mix the sugar with it? Yeah, we want to we want to just kind of pre-beat the egg because we don't want to have to do a whole lot of mixing once we dump everything into the pot on the stove. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I got I got the dark spot there, guys. There we go. So um, a lot of kids will want to crack the eggs too. So if the shells get into the mixture, which I have done here. <laughs> one, one little tip that uh, my family taught me is instead of fishing in there with your fingers or, or a fork, you can use actually that. take that half a shell and use it to scoop the shell out of the shell. In, yes. Excellent the tip there for me. <laughs> Don't know about anybody else, but I yeah. didn't know about that. That's great. Came in handy uh, when I cooked a lot because we're always getting shells and stuff, and nobody wants to eat shells. Yeah, no, and I've eaten yeah. a few shells because, yeah, I eat a lot of my cooking, so yeah. <laughs> and then green because we live in Nova Scotia. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I will keep some of my eggshells and um, crush them up on my dog's food because they say they make their coat shiny. Is that oh, so? Oh, wow. Uh, if they're tiny enough, the dog won't even know it's there. And as long as they can digest them, they don't they don't have to worry about the bacteria in the shell like we do. So <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. So just beat it up enough that it's mixed together, mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna set that aside. I'm gonna put it over by the stove so that it's all ready to go in the pot later. Okay. So um, what else is gonna be boiled all together? We're gonna do. Uh, that half a cup of brown sugar, and then we've got, I think, a quarter cup of butter, butter or margarine. Uh, so either one works good. Uh, we try not to use lard for this one, so butter or margarine would be the, the best option. Mm -hmm. um, butter is higher in cholesterol, but margarine uh, doesn't have the same taste. So it depends on what you're going for. Lower cholesterol, your taste. Butter right. is a better taste. Well, of course. Butter, Always. Butter is good on everything. It is. <laughs> We're um, making mice cookies, Barbara. Yes. Barbara Walter. That's. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I, I thought the, by the picture, these looked similar to the spider cookies, are, which are more like a chocolate ball rolled in coconut. Oh, but, um, yeah. No, this is different. This, no, is different. this is a totally different thing than yeah. what we were thinking. Now this we, is good. This is a totally we, different thing. Mentioned that we used to make those ones too, but they they do have um, some of the same ingredients and they they do come out the same shape. So okay. yeah. and they're fridge cookies as well. Yeah. Yes. No bakes. No bakes. And for the moms on the go and kids going to school, it's a lot cheaper to make your snacks at home than it is to buy them. Oh my goodness! The price of groceries me. nowadays. Yes. Skyrocketed. We could go on, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's an uplifting show. <laughs> I, I still can't get over $4 for salary. That's still. Yeah, that's blowing my mind. <laughs> and when all you really have to do, apparently, <laughs> is to put the part of the stock in water and yeah. let it grow. Do you know that? I knew it. Okay, I don't know. Andre, would you tell us about that? I don't know what if he knows about it. I saw it on one of those. Oh, it was like. Uh, you know, uh, do it yourself. One of those things on Facebook. Oh yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it, it was about gardening. 
It was good. Well, I guess that's something you could grow in the winter then. Yeah, the, the more you can make stuff for yourself, the better too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, back, yeah. In, back in the day, my mom told me that they couldn't really afford to buy a lot of butter. Yeah. So they used to take um, bacon grease and strain the bacon grease and then yeah. freeze it or put it in the fridge and, and yes. you use that to bake many different well, that's pretty Yes. Much lard, yeah. Right? So, yeah. It's, it, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all grease. Yeah. People don't think of it that way, but it is actually yeah. just that, right? Well, just like sugar wasn't always available and they would use molasses. Yes, here especially. Well, it's big thing with molasses here. Oh, yeah. I love molasses cookies. If somebody out there would ever like to make us some molasses cookies, that would be great. We would love to see that being made. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're going to take our half a cup of margarine um, on medium heat and just slowly melt it a little bit. Then we're going to add the half a cup of brown sugar. Uh, and this is where you want to be careful not to overcook it. Then we're going to beat in the egg afterwards. That's why I put it over there because it doesn't go in right away. Um, then we're going to add the cup of dates, a pinch of salt, a dash of vanilla, and at the end we're going to dump it all in a bowl and roll it in some Rice Krispies and coconut. <laughs> wow. Yes. That's nice. Okay. Do you want me to measure out a half a cup? That would be fantastic. In there? Okay. Perfect. And then yeah. the vanilla My and hands are clean. I did wash them just before we came <laughs> off. We thought it would be a little boring for everybody to be watching that part. It's, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> clean hands. Exactly. <laughs> and if you live in a house with doggos, uh, yeah. like we do, then paper towels uh, are a must. savior. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, pets paper towel is a must. 100%. Oh, a little bit more. Just trying to reach that number four there. So I made fun of that large knife that you gave to her, and I noticed when she was cutting that she needed that. <laughs> yeah, she would have been up to her wrist and dates otherwise, right? That's why I wasn't. I don't cut dates, guys. This is my issue. See how small that little chunk was? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I can't. Uh, when she started chopping, I was like, oh my. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, so okay. we'll start with the butter in the pot, and this is where, if you're using actual butter, sorry, I walk all over the place. No worries, no. We have an actual I brick of butter. I won't follow you right into the fridge there. Because. <laughs> <don't. laughs> <laughs> we have a brick of butter. Uh, all right. You, you may have noticed on the, the packages of the butter that yes. the measurements are there. Yeah, you can like cut off a quarter or a half a cup sort of thing. So you just have to look at the, the film around the outside of the butter to, to get it more accurate than yeah. you want to use the cup. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so you want me to start melting that? That would be great. So don't go past medium heat. Uh, depending okay. on your stove too, sometimes you want to go a little bit less than medium heat. Maybe if it's an older stove, turn it up to, to medium. Um, just so that you're slowly combining everything together because you want it all to melt together in the end. You okay. don't have chunks, big chunks of anything. It's the left one. And just medium, you say? Oh, yes. And okay. use these stoves. <laughs> So that's the um, teaspoon over here. That's the inside, oh. and then that's the outside. So, you, so there's this page over here. Want it over here? Yeah, about five, three, yeah, four or five. Okay. Perfect. And we'll watch that. Awesome. And what's next then? So uh, I think we got pretty much almost everything prepared there. Uh, so, have either of you guys ever made this recipe? Before? Never. No, we're nope. Well, no, we're Brand just, new. We're listening to you, waiting for <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the written directions so we can make it at our place. Actually, yeah. Yeah, they I love dates. I know Sinead, my daughter. She would love this. She loves dates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so um, I'll, I'll leave you in charge of the stirring part, sure. if that's okay. So yep. we're just going to get that butter melted. Okay. I'm going to do the boring hand wash thing here right quick. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So uh, we're only going to need about a half a cup of these two. So the next thing we're going to do once the butter starts to melt, um, once, once you can see it just kind of all along the bottom of the pan then we're going to add the sugar in and just slowly stir that until it melts together. Then the next thing is going to be measuring out a half a cup of these dates. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, not a whole lot of sugar. I mean, we're not, we're not dumping a, a ton of it in there. No, <laughs> dates are quite sweet already, mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. And, and brown sugar is better than white, anyway. 
exactly. It is, yeah, better for you. So I think what, uh, what I'll do while Pam's stirring there is I'll get the Rice Krispies and the coconut part ready. Okay. Yes. So uh, the Rice Krispies, you're just going to use enough to, to make the balls about a quarter Rice Krispie. So we don't need to add a whole bunch, but we don't want to add too little or we're not going to get that nice little crunch in the middle. Right. We've got kind of a, um, the dates and the, the Rice Krispies and they're giving two slightly different consistencies, but... Uh, they, they work well together in the end. <laughs> okay. Sweet. All right. So, according to my sister's recommendation for this amount, we are going to have uh, about three, cup, three cups of Rice Krispies all together. Okay. And I think I may have left the coconut here, so I'm just going to grab that right quick. I don't... Some can be up. Let me just and take a look here. Sweetened coconut or... Um, uh, I actually use the unsweetened this time, yeah. and it, they still seemed extremely yeah. sweet. Yeah. But um, I know when I was little, my mom had those three jars on the counter, and one always had coconut in it, which was sweet. Yes. And then one had the bacon raisins. Uh -huh. One had the. Uh... <laughs> 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 He's over looking there. a little angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're at home. <laughs> That's and the best. Be a, be a <laughs> that's and true. In, we're in Cat's kitchen with the cat, and that's yeah. what happens, right? Like he smelled dates and said, I need to taste that. Okay, this is all milk. Perfect. Awesome. So uh, we can add the sugar in there, and then we're going to slowly oh, together. Right? As that starts to melt, we're going to add the eggs. So okay. you don't need a whole lot of time for sugar to start to, to melt when it's already a hot pot. So yeah, it dissolves fairly quickly. Yes. Yeah. So you got one egg here, all beaten up, and just going to add that into our mixture. Yeah. Oops, sorry, there we go. All right. Perfect. And this is where the kids or friends could come in handy if they do the dishes while you're cooking. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I added friends in there too, right? <laughs> Just in case. Okay, you've really upset the cat. The cat would like out. <laughs> Sorry, Rocky, we'll give you yeah, he... we'll give you the freedom. Gee whiz. Hello, communication. <laughs> Yes, and while I've got a second here, um, we're still looking for ladies. I would love to get some of you elderly ladies, because I know darn well you've got some good recipes hidden somewhere. <laughs> and you just need to uh, message Cape Breton Live TV or, or Marie's or, or me. And uh, we're just once a week for right now, but um, we can maybe bump that up. And there's nothing invasive about it. It's a cell phone. Not a big camera, mm -hmm. so you got to get over that being on camera thing and give us a shout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just Marie's lovely face videotaping us. Yeah. <laughs> You're so sweet. About that. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I just hope I'm not pixelating everybody too much or whatever the heck that's called. Whatever I did last time, everybody was all like choppy and because I ran too fast from one room to another, or... <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good. Nice, yeah. nice slow, non-jerky movements. <laughs> yeah, we, we had nice weather today, too. Yes. Oh, we were I lucky for that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys have really been putting in the effort to make... Oh, yes, yeah, we're working so hard. hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's been fun. It, Pam, and I, Pam and I like hanging out, so it works out for us. Yeah, Give us an excuse, why don't you? Yes. <laughs> nothing but fun. All right, so that's all melted over there. What's next? We add in their dates. Yes, we're okay. going to slowly start melting in these dates. So we want the dates to soften. You don't need them to turn into complete mush, but we do want them to soften and sort of mix in with the mixture. So uh, it could take anywhere from three minutes to ten minutes, uh, right. but we're only making a small batch, so it shouldn't take too terribly long. All right. Especially with this larger pot, we're yeah. have more, more surface area covered. Okay, and okay. how many are you, or how, well, how many cups? Yeah, we only need a half a cup of dates here. Half a cup, okay. So, but because the dates are kind of big, instead of packing them down in there, I just put it a little over. Right. A little over okay. Half a cup. Yes. Okay. Let me get over here. So, oh, sorry about that. No worries. No, no, it's fine. So, I'm going to focus on what you're doing next. 
Can't We're good. If you, want, if you want to look in the pot, Marie, and see what's yeah. going on here. But see let's like. see. I don't want to. You know what? Honestly, I think it's. Uh, Is it pixeling? It's it's doing its little thing, probably. But here we go. You got to see, guys. Once you stop, you got to see what it looks like. There we go. Can you see that? That's what it's supposed to be looking like. That's the brown sugar, butter, and egg melted, and then she just put a half a cup of dates in. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And we have three cups of Rice Krispies measured out. Pat's yep. checking her recipe. All right. <laughs> yes, looks like we're doing good. Yeah. So, okay, uh, cool. We just need that uh, pinch of salt and dash of vanilla. And okay. then we're just going to add that milk together. And we're, we're and good. that goes in the pot as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically all the ingredients go in there, mm -hmm. except for um, the two dry ingredients of coconut and uh, Rice Krispies. Right. Okay. Yeah. Those are just going to get all rolled in at the end. <laughs> cool. Right. Rice Krispies first. And then the coconut's going to be the last. All right. Okay. Awesome. So uh, we don't have to be super precise with this. Usually my mom just said put a cap full. The cap full. Yep. Yeah. 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 Cap full. It's kind of like a teaspoon where you use, you know, the one out of the drawer, not the one that the bakers on the yes. big posh <laughs> cooking shows use. That's right. Exactly. Okay. Cap full of that. Okay. Pitch that in there. I'm still doing good on medium heat. I might turn it up a little bit and just get that stirring. Constantly. And you just use tape salt? Yeah, just a couple dashes. A couple of dashes? Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. Good. Perfect. There we are. And if you put more vanilla, it's just going to make it slightly sweeter. That's okay. All. That's all. So if you don't have a sweet tooth, uh, you want to tone it down a bit. A little less vanilla is good. You don't want to really um, skimp out on the sugar too much because then it might not, the, yes. the materials might not bond together properly. So. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. From a cooking science perspective. <laughs> yes. Yeah. My child's been doing food science the last little while, so oh, oh so you're yeah. getting the full lesson then. Getting educated on that <laughs> stuff. Yes, <laughs> I used to love home ec class. Yeah, they still, they still do it, but they have uh, they have different names for it, like textiling and and actual food safety handling courses and food science. But that's good. I mean, you know, as long as they're still teaching these things that they need to know, right? Because right. it's very, important. Very important. Right. I'm just going to make a little noise here for a sec. Yep, yeah, no worries. Teach children how to plant their own vegetables in school, too. Oh, that would be a much better idea than... <laughs> yeah. Gardening, you know? The Boys and Girls Club did that this year. That was, yes, uh, I saw that. Yeah. That hmm. was really cool. I'm oh, zooming in and out on poor Pam there. Sorry, guys. Just for... There we go. Probably. This is just going to be for the coconut man, so can okay. throw her in there. Yeah, kind of trying to just keep the two of you within the shot here, so oh, let's yeah, look and okay. see what everybody's yeah, doing. Or is it going to be a few minutes? Like, uh, takes a little bit longer. A little bit longer, yeah. Okay. That's why I turned the heat up a bit, too, just because uh, yeah. so, the pot's so big that we might need a little yes. to get her going. Yes. Yeah. And it is reducing here. Awesome. Yeah. All right. It cools off pretty fast too. So once you get that dumped in with the Rice Krispies, uh, you don't you want to let it cool off for maybe like thirty seconds to a minute. Put your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so it doesn't actually burn you. It's right. Kind of, kind of like the wax off a candle. Um, it burns when it initially hurts your hits your finger, but it yeah. cools off really really fast. So, yeah. so we want to get them rolled up pretty promptly afterwards. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the coconut. Throw some of that in there. So just start off with a bit. You can always add more later. Then we don't right. waste all the coconut. We'll have a little extra residue at the end. I love coconut. Oh, I love it too. Uh, but if you're allergic to it, unfortunately, this recipe is not going to be a good one for you. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it, you could substitute anything for coconut. That's a good question. I wonder what I it would be. Substitute for coconut. Oats. Oatmeal? Just, hmm. just something, right? Yeah, maybe. Oats. Something for the kind of a crunch. Too. Yeah. 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 Don't it's be afraid to though. try anything, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, just give them a taste and then you can throw something else in there that, right. that would complement the flavor of it, even if it doesn't taste like coconut. Right. If you consider what, what the recipes are. Because if I don't like it, nobody else is going to. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> see, that's a good theory right there. The way I, <laughs> <too>. <laughs> oh. I don't like it. Everybody else probably isn't going to like it. Oh, that's getting like really thick now. <laughs> 
So if it starts to starts to actually bubble like that, then we want to reduce the heat a bit and stir it a little bit faster. All right. Yeah. Faster. Okay. Because now we're getting to that point where it's starting to darken a little it's bit. It's almost like a fudge. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks it's all dark now. Gotcha. Yeah. And you will have some chunks of dates, but they'll be soft that they won't, you know, you mm -hmm. won't notice them as, as chunks inside Sweet. the mice. Yes. All right. It's one of my favorite cookies at Christmas is the date top hats, they call them. Oh, mm. I don't know they those. They look like a per pierogi. The dates are pressed inside. And oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I want to try those. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know when I'm going to lose weight this, uh, <laughs> this year at all, Pam. <laughs> I'm like, you don't know. I'm oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> trying to get my body into the clothes I have from like before early December, pre-December clothing. Oh, it's getting burnt. This summer, we all got a Christmas belly right now. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah, and it's, it's good to put on a little extra weight, too, uh, for the winter. In the winter That's time. true. It's true. And it's a great excuse to get a new wardrobe. <laughs> and if you don't plan to be staying that size for long, then you can always go to the thrift store, right? That's right. Get tomorrow. yourself, right? Tomorrow we'll be visiting a thrift store, Whitney yes. Pier. And see if you can get some extra stuff. Oh, yeah. And taping a little cooking show right now, so <laughs> let me know if you need anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, tomorrow, as Marie was saying, is in the pier as well, and um, these ladies assist people with low income who have pets, which I think is a fabulous idea. Yes. And um, it's a local business, yes. In Whitney and Pier, I, yeah. And we're going to... We're looking forward to talking to those ladies about how they help their community. Yes, my aunt Margie actually. <laughs> so yep, yeah, she'll be right. she'll be there, and we'll be doing this at twelve o'clock tomorrow. At noon. Yeah, it's going to be good. While you guys are sitting there eating your lunch, and you're looking around at all of those clothes that don't fit you anymore, <laughs> you can give them on over to my aunt Margie. <laughs> okay, so she's this is ready now. Yes, and so uh, we want to pour right into the rice krispies. Yeah, we're gonna dump it right in there and okay. then mix it all together. All right. Here we go. You got a shot of that. Got a shot of that. I, you know, it was in between you and the you and the cat. The bam. I'm sorry, the cat wants in now, and I really wanted to get a picture of that poor cat. And you're a cat lover. <laughs> the poor cat can't so. get it. Oh. Awesome. Marie has two cats. Yes, I do. They're beautiful cats. Yeah. And I have one, one orange one. Wonderful. I have a oh. lizard and a parrot. Ah, uh, see, it's like perfect. That's interesting, though. Wow, a lizard and a parrot. Does your parrot talk yet? A little bit. It's yeah. A, it's a conure, um, so they. It's a parakeet, so they talk a little less than some of the larger parrots. Okay. But I did have a. I did have a larger. Um, Quaker parrot a while ago, and that thing would not stop talking. So. Okay, yeah, and you say that in a way that's like, yeah, I couldn't deal with the Quaker parrot. Kind of, kind of annoys the company mostly. So. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to take a couple of Rice Krispies out, so maybe go with two and a half cups for this, because I noticed when we dumped it in, it was... Uh, too dry, is it? Yeah. yeah, it looked a little dry, and I think gotcha. that happened at Christmas time, too, so... This is where, um, if you're an obsessive hand washer like myself, this will come in handy. <laughs> Make sure your nails are all clean and stuff. So, just going to mix it together. But keep in mind, this might be a little hot. So, if you want to use two spoons, you can do that. Yeah. I just have those kitchen hands where I lost feeling a long time ago with my fingertips. So. Yeah. yeah. A lot of us, once we become mothers, I think that actually happens to us, oh, right? I have those dishpan yeah. hands. Yeah. My grandson says, Nanny, you got worms in your hands. I said, that's my veins. Yeah, those are just my veins. <laughs> <laughs> <Bad hands. laughs> Perfect. So we got it mixed together. Now what we're going to do is, this is where you get to pick your size. Um, the smaller they are, the less mess they make when you're eating them. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to pack them together. And they, they don't stick like 100% together at first. Uh, but as they dry, they get more firm and they, they stay yeah. together better. Yeah. So they're just a little hot right now, so that's why they're not uh, they're not 100% sticking. Okay. So see how we have that all mixed in there? We got a bunch of Rice Krispies in there mm -hmm. as well, too. And some dates, yeah. Yes. And then our other cat knocked over the parchment paper. So oh, would get, you like another piece? Can you give me another piece, please? <laughs> Don't be blaming the kitty. <laughs> Actually, it was mine. Oh, no. I, I oh, God, I tell you, I'm just... 
be so, down here on this side, even though they're legs. Look at here oh, she comes again. Oh no no, just don't be doing that. <laughs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> that's right, right? So Peggy White from South Carolina is watching. She's enjoying her show and she loves anything made with dates. Oh fantastic. So she was in Whitney Pier with her sister Jean Crawley just this Christmas. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. That's where we are right now. Now, are where those are right Christmas now, spider? This is kind of no. the fun the fun part afterwards now that all the cooking stuff's done. We're just going to roll around into coconut. Oh, I lost that little piece there. Roll it around in the coconut. Put them on the paper. Yeah, and then put them somewhere so they can kind of dry and harden a little bit. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. These are not the spider cookies, Rebecca. They, they're they actually with dates. There's... Yes. Dates, uh, rice krispies, coconut. So very healthy for your kids, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a snack and a breakfast mm -hmm. all together. Yeah. That's true, you know, like that's, yeah, better than those Graham, what are they called? Granola bars that we all buy, right? Mm -hmm. You can make your home. Yes. And I, I did choose this one over the whipped shortbread. Whipped shortbread's very addicting, and we have an awesome family recipe. Oh, my goodness. It is mostly lard or butter. <laughs> so oh, my goodness. Not, butter is my favorite, right? Yeah. So, yeah. It's one There's of those my... things that you want to do with your food. Yeah, so, uh-huh. There'll be lots of trips to the, not exactly <laughs> to the store to get more clothes. <laughs> Uh, why no you know what though i i missed out on rebecca's workout yesterday that i i have been starting to do because i do like it it's something i can do it doesn't hurt <laughs> so actually yesterday i missed out i felt bad about that but I, i'll get back into it i sent a picture of myself shoveling but oh i've just been doing so much of that that's about all the exercise i'm getting right now yeah <laughs> you know what that and the stairs in my house have been my exercise <laughs> <laughs> But you, you both look fabulous. Oh, you're Don't so sweet. Oh, yeah. We're, we're doing all right. I mean, you know, we're holding our own, guys. But uh, if I keep eating things yes, like... I uh... just turned 52 <laughs> on Monday. She oh, did, oh, guys. Yeah. Happy birthday <laughs> to Pam. I'm really bad for the Facebook birthdays. It's like That's the yeah. reason why I didn't exercise, because I enjoyed my day in my pajamas, I think. Yes, that's good, though. Yes, you needed that. So now these just um, go into the fridge first, or you can just put them straight in the freezer? Uh, I can just pick one up and eat it right now if I wanted to. Oh, well, yes, you could. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. So there is mice cookies, people. Wow, nice. And so now, Andre... No bake cookies and healthy for your kids. Andre's mm -hmm. calling them spider earnings. I'm, unless somebody's... Spe like that, I'm thinking they're saying cookies. So yeah. I said cookies, mm -hmm. but they're saying spider earnings. And there, there could be other names because yeah. when okay. I say this, this, this seems to be our family tree yeah, thing. Yeah, look at this. Kind of labeled on it. See that? Like chocolate balls look at that. Coconut, but healthier, a lot healthier. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm so, glad this turned out to be pretty healthy. So. It's yeah. quite effect. So we really enjoy being with you in your kitchen today, Kat, and teaching us a new recipe. Yes. It's fabulous. I yeah. shake your hand, but I'm just as crazy yeah. as dirty as you. Do the air shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So there's yep. another recipe for someone to try. And um, tomorrow, like Marie said, we are going to be in the pier again as well. But we're going to put a little focus on to a community business that assists low-income people. Yes, Aww. that's so going to be so great. look forward to that. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And a shout out to John and Nadine McLean for letting us use their fabulous kitchen yes. and letting their sister come and bathe their home again. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really much. nice. Really nice of you thank guys. You. Thanks for everybody. We'll see you again. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>